Hello everyone. The book I'm about to read is written to provide children with essential skills in self-protection and to encourage them to always speak up. This is about child sexual abuse. If, as a parent, you're not ready to talk about this to your child, please skip it and don't keep listening. Thank you. Some Secrets Should Never Be Kept by Janine Sanders, illustrated by Craig Smith. Protect children from unsafe touch by teaching them to always speak up. Lady Susan worked very hard day after day, cleaning the largest castle in the land. The castle was owned by the rich and famous Lord Henry Wartnor. Because Alfred was only a little knight and couldn't stay home alone, he always went to Lord Henry's castle after school. While Lady Susan continued to clean and scrub, Lord Henry offered to take care of Alfred. Lord Henry and Alfred got along famously. They were like two peas in a pod. Lord Henry was friendly and funny, and together they played catch me if you can in the castle gardens. When Lord Henry caught Alfred, he would tickle him all over, and then the game would begin again. But one day, while Alfred's mother was clean in a far corner of the castle, Lord Henry started to tickle Alfred in a, in a way that made him feel uncomfortable and sick inside. The tickling wasn't fun anymore, and sometimes Lord Henry tickled and touched Alfred's private parts. And even when Alfred asked Lord Henry to stop, he did not. Come on, Alfred, laughed Lord Henry. It's just a bit of fun. There's no harm in a bit of tickling. But, warned Lord Henry, you must never ever tell anyone about our tickling game. It must be our special secret, because, continued Lord Henry, if you do tell, I'm afraid your mother will not be able to clean my castle anymore, and you'll have no money for food and clothes, and it will be your fault, Alfred. Poor little Sir Alfred felt sick with worry. He knew some secrets should never ever be kept. Secret that made him feel bad and uncomfortable. Secrets just like this. But if he told anyone, his mother would lose her job and they would have no money. And the worst bit of all, it would be all his fault. That night, little Sir Alfred went home with a very heavy heart. He did not eat his supper and he barely spoke a word to his mother. He crawled into his bed feeling sad and lonely, the secret heavy in his heart. The next morning, Alfred told his mother that he didn't want Lord Henry to look after him anymore. Lady Susan glanced at him briefly and just smiled. Don't be a silly Billy, Alfred. Everyone loves Lord Henry. Is one of the nicest and kindest men in the world. You're very lucky he takes care of you. But that afternoon when Lord Henry came to the school gate, Alfred felt sick in his tummy. He felt scared and very confused. He didn't want his mother to lose her job. So once again, Lord Henry tickled him and touched his private parts. When Alfred arrived home that evening, he felt so ill that he went straight to bed. As he lay in the dark of his room, he cried and cried. Great sob lifted up and out of his heart. He felt so lonely and so frightened. From her rocking chair in the kitchen, Lady Susan could hear Alfred sobbing. She stopped her knitting and went straight to her little son. Whatever is the matter? she asked, but Alfred did not utter a word. If he told his mother his terrible secret, she would lose her job and they would have no money and no food. Lady Susan hugged her little boy in a loving and gentle way. She held his face in her hands and looked deep into his eyes. There is nothing you cannot tell me, she said. Nothing at all. I've always told you, Alfred, some secrets should never, 
ever be kept. Poor little Sir Alfred was so confused. He didn't know whether to tell his mother or not. What if she didn't believe him? What if she lost her job and he was to blame? Finally, after many tears and lots of warm hugs from his mother, little Sir Alfred decided to be brave. He decided to tell the terrible secret. Once he began, his words trembled out one on top of the other. He told his mother all about the tickling and the touching and how uncomfortable and sick it made him feel. He told her that Lord Henry said he must keep the secret and that if he told anyone, Lady Susan would lose her job and they would have no money and it would be all of his fault. Lady Susan hugged her son very tightly and rocked him gently back and forth. At last, she wiped away both their tears. You're the bravest little knight I've ever known, she said, and what Lord Henry did to you was very wrong. You are right to tell me and I'm very proud of you. Remember, there is nothing you cannot tell me. I'm always here to listen to you and I will always believe you. You have done nothing wrong. Lady Susan promised Alfred that he would never ever have to see Lord Henry again and that he would be gone from their lives forever. As punishment, Lord Henry would be banished from his castle and the kingdom. She also told Alfred that she could earn a very fine living by knitting sweaters for the rich and famous and selling them at the local market. Later that night, as little Sir Alfred lay snug and warm in his bed, he finally felt safe and very loved. He was proud of himself because he had found the courage to tell his mother. He knew now, for sure, that no matter how awful or scary the secret, it should never, ever be kept. The End I hope you enjoyed the book. These are some discussion questions for parents, caregivers, and educators. Please take some time to go through this and, if you want, ask these questions to your child. Thank you for watching.